The Chief Justice Ian Chang has made absolute an order quashing the Central Housing and Planning Authority's approval given to Telecor Cultural Broadcasting Inc. to erect a building in Queenstown here in Georgetown. Telecor is a company connected to the ruling People's Progressive Party. Uh, the company has been awarded five frequencies to operate a radio station throughout Guyana. Telecor is registered by its secretary, who is the deputy permanent secretary in the ministry that Minister Robert Prasad controls. Prasad has connections to an existing television station, too. The case of the Telecor building in Queenstown arose after neighbors observed that the Central Housing and Planning Authority had given permission to the company to erect a building and a broadcast tower on a corner lot there. For years, uh, there have been specific bylaws in Queenstown, east of Oranoch Street. Those bylaws state that no building to be used for any manufacturing, trade, or business purpose shall be erected or built on any lot, and no such building shall be used for any purpose aforesaid. The building at the center of the controversy is at 119 Laloni and Peter Rose Streets. The city engineer, having initially stated that the plans were in order, later sent Telecor Cultural Broadcasting Inc. a cease works order. In addition to the neighbor who sought the cease work order, another neighbor has written to Telecor's offices located at 185 Charlotte and King Streets here in Georgetown and its corporate secretary, Umkar Lochan, about the conditions at the site. The neighbor, attorney at law, Melinda Janke, indicated in very forceful language in a letter to the company's secretary that the construction site is breeding mosquitoes, blocking drains, and the parapet, and the construction site has taken over sections of the public land and has rubbish on the site. She complained that the whole operation amounted to being a nuisance in the area. Several other businesses have mushroomed in Queenstown over the years, despite the bylaws. There has been no serious challenge to enforce zoning laws in this part or most parts of the city. For Capital News, Enrico Wilfred reporting.